Hi there, my name is Keely and I'm an instructor with the Cloud Project. Today I'll be teaching about solutions to climate change. Climate change solutions. Questions. How can people help at home? How can people help within their community? Make sure you have the following before you start. A scientific notebook, a pen or a pencil, and a learning mindset. How can people help at home? While one person cannot solve climate change alone or even overnight, there are a few changes that anybody can make to help solve this climate crisis. In fact, small changes like using reusable water bottles or saving electricity will help save the planet. Now let's do a quick scavenger hunt. Pause the video so the timer for five minutes to look for these items around your house and record the items you find in your notebook. These water bottles are one of the most useful products you can have around the house. They are truly much better than plastic water bottles. They take less oil to produce, they reduce the amount of plastic trash you produce, and they are reusable. They're like a long-lasting, lifelong friend. In the long run, these water bottles are much cheaper than plastic bottles. Plastic bottles constantly require new ones being, once being emptied and are not the most hygienic. Because of this, consumers constantly need to purchase plastic bottles, which can cost quite a lot. Another product you can start using are reusable straws. These can be rubber or even metal, but regardless, these reusable straws can be recycled and reused. While they are not as common as plastic straws, they do not contribute to as much environmental pollution. Without proper attention, many plastic straws can end up in our oceans, harming the animals that live there. Reusable straws are also easy to travel with and clean. Another action you can do is change your mode of transportation. Instead of driving places that are close by, try biking, walking, scootering, or even rolling. Most cars burn fossil fuels, releasing tons of greenhouse gases. Biking and walking causes basically no damage to the environment, making them eco-friendly transportation. And who knows, you might have a lot of fun watching scenery fly by you. Another option is to use public transportation when going farther distances. Public transportation includes buses or trains. These vehicles take large amounts of people around at once, making it faster and more efficient. On top of that, public transportation reduces the amount of carbon emissions individuals would have to lease if they have driven to their destination by car. Think about it. Instead of 50 people driving a one car each, those 50 people can all drive in one bus. One bus takes up a lot less space on the road and burns much less fossil fuels than 50 individual cars. Composting is also a great way to help the planet. Composting is collecting food scraps or plant material and letting it decompose. This compost contains nutrients that can be added to gardens or soil to help plants grow healthy and quickly. When we throw away the food in our garbage bin, most of our food and scraps end up in landfill with non-recyclable items. In landfills, food scraps introduce a large amount of methane, a greenhouse gas. Composting also reduces the need for artificial fertilizers, which many farmers use. These fertilizers often contain harmful chemicals that can hurt the animals or even other plants nearby. Because compost contains the nutrients for the soil, it can be used in place of artificial fertilizers without harming the planet. We aren't done yet. There are even bamboo items you can start using instead of its plastic counterparts. Bamboo products like toothbrushes and eating utensils are easy changes that we can make to, produce, to reduce our plastic waste. Bamboo is biodegradable, which means it decomposes like compost does, fast growing and natural, making it eco-friendly. While the methods we have covered are very important, so is energy conservation. Making energy often releases carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases into the environment. We use energy for a lot of things, like powering our cars and homes. So energy conservation, which means using less energy reduces carbon emissions and energy shortages. This is key to saving our planet. Here's some changes that you can make to conserve energy. First, you can turn off lights in empty rooms when they aren't being used. You don't take advantage of sunlight. During the daytime when it's bright outside, open your shades and let your room be lit up with the natural light. Try to avoid turning on lights when there's sunlight available outside. Unplug items that aren't being used. This can include things like toasters or fans and lamps. Whatever you use temporarily for a short period of time, leave them unplugged when not in use. You can also limit your shower time by using a timer and shower for no longer than a set amount of time. 
conserving water is key because it's an important resource for everyone. Don't leave the fridge open for too long. When you let the cold air from the refrigerator escape, your fridge requires more electricity to maintain the cold temperature. While you brush your teeth, turn off the water faucet. There is no use wasting water when you don't need it. It will also save money. Instead of using electronics, try reading or doing activities that aren't relying on energy. You can also plant a tree. Trees aren't only pretty, but they are also so important for our environment. They provide us with the oxygen that we need to breathe. These are super cool. Not only do they give us oxygen, but they make that oxygen by taking in carbon dioxide. This means that they help save the planet and us. Trees are a great way to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Stop and think. Write down the answers to each question in your notebook. Sustainability. Without this lesson, you learn about sustainability. Now watch this quick animation about it. It all started out as a normal day, but when the children arrived at school, the playground was filled with garbage, and on top of it stood the dreaded Dumpin' Man. Gross! What to do? The class had been studying how to be green, so they knew to call their friend Eco Man. <laughs> Eco Man was busy protecting the Amazonian rainforest, but he was able to arrive in just a few seconds, thanks to his renewable energy jetpack. Hey, Eco Man! cried the class. What's going on here? Eco Man looked around. Ah, he said, someone has been duped into dumping. If we don't want the whole world to look like this, we have to recycle. Luckily, we have a system to do this. Different waste goes into different bins. One for glass, one for plastic, one for cardboard and newspapers, and one for everything else. If we do this, then glass can be melted and made into new glass. Paper can be recycled and plastic turned into hangers, bottles, or even a new sweater. Thanks, Eco Man, the class shouted. Later that day, the class sat down to have lunch and found pale, tasteless tomatoes on their plates. Blah! They could see the dreaded Dumpin' Man sneering in the corner, so they called Eco Man again, who was busy protecting endangered animals. Hey, Eco Man, what's going on? Eco Man explained that the Earth gives us fruits and vegetables all year round, but different ones grow in different seasons. For example, rhubarb comes in the spring, tomatoes in the summer, pumpkins in the fall, and in the winter, we get carrots. And when we respect natural cycles, nature helps us. For example, by giving us ladybugs who eat the aphids who would otherwise eat our plants. Yay, nature! At the end of this strange day, the children left school, only to see tons of pollution in the city. Dumpin' Man was there too, laughing. Eco Man was able to leave his work installing solar panels that brought electricity to a village without lights, and arrived to answer the children's question. Eco Man! The class shouted. Why is the air so gray and smelly? Can't we do without these polluting cars? Absolutely, said Eco Man. This is already happening. Lots of people are riding bikes to work or traveling by public transit or carpool. You can help by doing this too. Also, new non-polluting options are being invented every day. Things like electric cars and solar planes like the Solar Impulse that flew around the world using only energy from the sun. So you see, when we work together to be green, Dump It Man is out of here. Eco Man then left with his awesome renewable energy jetpack to save the bees. What a day for that class. And who knows, maybe tomorrow it'll be your class. Let's do a quick summary. In the first lesson, you learned that climate change is a large shift in weather patterns. You also learned that scientists started thinking about climate change in the 1800s. In the second lesson, you learned that climate change can affect ton of different things, from health to animals to agriculture. In this lesson, you learned that there's so much you can do to help the planet. You can use eco-friendly materials and transportation and help with little things in your community. Thank you for watching.